I'm Doc Kaiju Legends, and this is my collection. I run this collection with my old man, Dean, and my son, Big Alby. Everything here has a name and a price. One thing I've learned after 21 years, you never know what is going to come in that box. Well, it's already time for yet another box day. This here is not an ordinary unboxing video. So what makes this unboxing so different and special from the other ones that I do? Well, let's get right into it and you'll see why. I'm very excited for what we're going to be opening today. Alright. So in the last unboxing I mentioned that I would have a exciting unboxing coming this week that would be very cool for the future of the channel. And this is why, because I ordered a new camera. This is the Panasonic Lumix G7. Uh, I've been looking at this camera for a pretty fair amount of time now, uh, considering, like, you know, different cameras to buy and stuff, and this one seems very, very nice. Um, so I got, yeah, the Panasonic. G7, uh, it suits 4K video and it has a kit lens with it, uh, 14 to 42 millimeters. So this is very exciting for me. Um, also, since I want to branch out a lot more from just kind of filmmaking, so yeah. But we also had that second box to open, so let's see what was in this one. All right, so in the second box we have two items that go along with that camera. First of all, we have the Panasonic 25mm f1.7 lens. Uh, this is the lens that I've been looking at getting along with the camera. It seems very, very good quality for the price, especially with that really low aperture. That's going to be very, very useful. And in addition to that, to carry all that, I got a camera bag. And here it is. I mean, it's not too terribly exciting, but still nice to have a uh, much nicer, great quality of a camera bag. So not really quick, let's open these two. Alright, so in here we've got manuals and DVD guide, stuff that I really need slash care about. Here we have a lens hood and the kit lens. There it is, the Panasonic Lumix G7. Uh, this is pretty exciting to hold in hand, but yeah, this is very interesting to hold because I've never really used a camera like this before. Um, I'm going to switch over to this pretty soon here just to test it out, and you'll see the camera that I've been using for the past like five years or so. Let's open up the 25mm lens. And here's the lens itself. In there, and we'll check it out later. All right, so I'm gonna take a couple minutes to set this thing up and figure out how exactly it's gonna work. And then we're gonna switch over and test out the quality on this, because I'm very excited to shoot some much higher quality stuff. Because as you can tell with this camera, it creates a lot of noise and generally just uncleared images. I don't know, the more that I use this camera, the less and less that I like it, but I've been using it for close to five years now, so yeah, I figured it was time for a switch. But I'm gonna get that set up, and we'll switch over in a couple of minutes. So I think the camera is working. I hope it is. Um, I, I mean, I haven't played around with settings that much, so the quality might not be exactly as good as it might be later on. But yeah, I mean, then this, this is using the. Uh, 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens. And yeah, if you haven't ever seen it, this is the camera that I've been using for the past five years. It's a Sony ABC HD, what model is it? HDR PJ260. Uh, it's like a $200 thing compared to like the $600 that this costed. 
Um, but, yeah, hopefully this upgrade is going to be worth it. Um, and I haven't actually tried out the 25mm lens yet, so we're going to see how that would work maybe. And unless the camera dies on me, in which case, maybe we won't. Let's see how all this stuff works. So this is now shooting with the 25mm lens, so we have a shallower depth of field. Um, but again, I still haven't played around with the settings on the camera, so we'll, s we'll see how the quality plays out later on. But that's about it for this pretty exciting unboxing, I guess. Um, got a ton of really cool equipment now to make some new movies with. As for Zone Fighter, however, I'm not going to be shooting the remainder of episode 10 with a new camera, just for consistency sake. Uh, I've shot like 70% of it already with this thing, so I'll probably finish Zone Fighter out as it started with this camera. But after that, I expect an increasing quality on every video with this new camera right here. So, And I'll also show some other test shots right at the end here, so you get an idea of how I'll this will hold up with shooting figures and whatnot. But anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.